What's up, guys? <clears throat> it's Dennis here from Do It All Garage. Just wanted to go over a little short list of five things that are must-haves from Harbor Freight. First one is this uh, F-style welding clamp. I just picked this up tonight. Uh, these retail for $19.99. Of course, I used a 20% off coupon. Got it for $15.99 plus tax. Um, this thing's actually a lot more solid than I thought it would be. Uh, here is the tag on it. It's made by Burger. It's a 12 inch professional F style welding clamp. And there's some of the, yes, yeah, a 1600 pound maximum clamping capacity. So there's the back of the tag in case you were wondering. But basically, I'm, I try to be careful about what I buy at Harbor Freight. Some things are worth their weight in gold. Some aren't. Some, are, some things are complete junk, as some of you already know. Like this bar right here. Okay. Uh, when I saw this thing online, I liked the style of it. And I've seen clamps similar to this before. But I thought this would be hollow. This is not. It's one piece of steel. Looks like galvanized, maybe, or some kind of really cheap chrome plating or something like that but either way sixteen dollars this right here the uh screw mechanism here looks like it's made out of some kind of impact grade material like you would see on an impact socket or something and this swivels so you know that'll be very helpful but uh basically it slides back and forth okay and then once you get your material set in there, the pressure holding against this will keep it in place. Then you can screw that in and uh, tighten it down. So for 16 bucks with a coupon, I have no complaints. I'll probably try to do a review about this one in uh, maybe six months to a year. Uh, you know, let you guys know how it's holding up. Another type of clamp that I've gotten at Harbor Freight is this clamp it's excellent for welding or you know sometimes woodworking or just in general just if you like to you got a little shop or garage or whatever you like to work on stuff work with your hands get you some of these these are not expensive i know these things are less than 10 bucks at harbor freight this one is a pittsburgh brand as you can see on the handle right there um, i also have other ones from uh I found at Northern Tool, they had a five pack of these almost identical for, I want to say it was somewhere around 15 to $25. Northern Tool also has some good coupons, y'all. It's not just about the uh, Harbor Freight 20% off. Northern Tool will, uh, if, if you don't know about them, you can go on their website and give them your email address and you know your physical address and everything and they will mail you and email you coupons and some of them are really good some of them are like five dollars off of a 15 dollars purchase which is 33 percent off you know if you need a new pair of pliers or something like that getting 33 percent off is pretty good so and they have other coupons as well and you know some of their stuff is you know about half the time it's a little more high quality than harbor freight stuff is but either way uh, here's another shop must have. This is a uh, warrior brand. Okay. They may relabel this, you know, whoever makes it in the next couple of years, they probably change the brand three or four times, whatever Chinese companies making it. But, uh, this sets metric. They also have them in, uh, standard sizes, but I always work on Japanese bikes, you know, four wheelers, dirt bikes, that sort of thing. And, my truck is a, a Nissan, which is Japanese, and uh, my wife's car is a Toyota. It's also Japanese, so I don't need a whole lot of SAE fasteners, so I mainly go with metric, but you can pretty much pick these up anywhere, but at Harbor Freight, you get them cheap, and what I like about them is if you look in here, they have magnets in them. I don't know why all of these don't have magnets in them, but they should, in my opinion. That saved my butt a few times. Another must have, super cheap. These are like five or seven bucks for a whole set of them. 
Another thing, and some of you might laugh at this, but these uh, screwdriver impact bits. Pittsburgh screwdriver bit socket set half inch drive. Okay. Now, some of you are like, oh, what would I ever use that for? They're huge. You know, this is a Phillips 3. Looks like a, can't see the size. Yeah, Phillips 2 and a Phillips 4. And I was thinking the same thing most of you probably are. It also comes with these three different slotted sizes. All half inch drive, nice strong chrome plating on there. I've only used these like once or twice, maybe three times. I've had them for a few years. I walked past these things 20 times before I bought them. Okay, 20 different times in the store. I'm like, man, I'll never use those. I don't want to spend the $9 on them or whatever. I was working on a really rusty, muddy four-wheeler that had a giant uh, Phillips head screw in it somewhere. And it was on like the foot peg area, something like that. I can't remember exactly. But I tried to turn that thing with a regular screwdriver and it was not moving. Okay. I put some heat on it. I tried it again. Would not move. I was going to strip it out or I was going to have to weld a nut onto it and then turn the nut off of it. And I said, you know what? I bought these. I'm going to try them. I got them out of the toolbox. And I got that big Phillips head, put it on my half inch impact and backed that sucker right out of there. So that right there, you know, being that it saved me, I would say at least 30 minutes of time, that's worth the five to ten dollars i paid for these they're super cheap they're not expensive get you some and last but not least these security cables right here i believe these are three eighths inch cables i bought this a long time ago i bought like three sets of these um i believe this one is a 30 footer I believe they also have 15 foot and seven foot lengths and possibly a three foot, but these things end up costing about 50 cents a foot. Both ends are crimped and rubber coated. They have a loop on them. Okay. So what you can actually do is slip it through there and fasten it to your ladder or motorcycle or lawnmower or whatever, and take this put your lock through it and bolt it to your whatever, you know, that's one way you can do it. Um, but for the money, that is really good security right there. Now, obviously if somebody, if a professional, so to speak, thief is going to take your stuff and they want it, they're going to take it no matter what it's chained to or whatever it's locked down with. But this is a good, good theft prevention right here for for the money i believe this 30 footer was like 10 or 15 bucks and the 15 footer is way less than that i've actually seen the exact same cable uh with a different brand on it at home depot and they wanted like 30 dollars for a 15 footer and it's just ridiculous I've, I've looked for them online i've looked for them at other several other places and uh like i said i bought two or three of these just because, you know, for the money, it's well worth it. Uh, a bolt cutter usually won't cut through these. You usually have to have cable cutters or a grinder or a cutting torch to cut through these. So, uh, you know, it's a real good idea, especially for the money, like I said, to pick you up one or two of these. If you have any kind of equipment, bicycles, lawnmowers, ladders, whatever that you don't want to get stolen. I haul a lot of bikes in the back of my truck and uh that's real cheap insurance to make sure you know when i run in and grab me a coke and a burger that my three-wheeler or four-wheeler is still going to be in the back of my truck when i get out there so uh anyway just a little quick uh list of five things harbor freight must-haves in my opinion uh thanks for watching i got a lot more to come if you'd be so kind go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and uh, like I said, we've got a lot more to come. Thanks for watching Do It All Garage. See you next time.